Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial. Here we're gonna learn about uh, how to mine data from Twitter using the 2EP API and uh, uh, using sentiment analysis. Uh, we're gonna draw a pie chart in the end showing of how many people are reacting towards the tweet in which way, a positive or a negative way. So let's start. The prerequisites for this video is uh, I already uh, I already am assuming that uh, you know what sentiment analysis is and uh, what data mining is. So if you don't know that, please uh, I highly recommend it to watch the other videos. There are very 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 good tutorials about it. So let's start. Hmm. I'll say a new file. Twitter and a new python file let's say its name is tweet it up right so the first thing is we need the api called tweepy tweepy tweep uh, i don't know how it's spelled so i'm just gonna say tweepy and the put text block and we're gonna also need mat dot dot i plot okay so the first thing is we need some uh, consumer key consumer secret key and access key access token for that you need uh, to sign a uh, login in your Twitter account and type here apps.twitter.com and go to create a new app and you can type any name here and uh, any description it doesn't really matter and uh, any website let's say google.com and no need for a callback URL yes create and we can see it has been created so now go to the keys and access tokens and these are you can see here is the consumer key let's copy this consumer key I'm gonna do the same with the consumer secret Consumer secret. Copy this. Oh, we just need the two things: access token and access secret. Go back. Mm, you're gonna find the. Uh, your access token here create my access token and here is your access token so guys I actually copied the access token and access token secret here access token access token secret so now we need to connect to the tweepy so authentication equals to tweepy dot auth handler it takes two argument uh, both the consumers credentials consumer key so consumer key equals to consumer key consumer key and consumer secret equals to consumer secret <coughs> now uh, we need to set up the access tokens on this authentication so set access token access token comma access secret now uh, just set up your api it's very easy api equals to tweep dot api authentication using this authentication okay now we are done with the api let's see if it's working so before that we need to know uh what do you want to search about like a keyword that we're going to search keyword would be input please uh, enter what do you want to search about search about mm, and also the number of tweets i'm using camel casing here uh in because uh, this would always be an integer so i'm typecasting it uh, enter the number of tweets okay so let's begin so before that we need to fetch or you can say mine the tweets into variables here tweets equals to um, tweep dot cursor and here we're gonna pass api dot search and uh, what do you want to search about keyword and i'll choose my language to be english also the number of items i want to iterate upon uh, these are number of tweets okay let's see if it's working tweet in tweets print tweet dot text let's begin run what do you want to search about i want to search about fifa 2018 and 10 tweets 
and you can see it determined all the 10 tweets and these are the 10 tweets so now we are just gonna um, check the sentiments so for that i'll have three variables positive negative neutral equals to zero and polarity equals to zero okay so uh yeah so let's begin if first of all uh, i'll say uh, my analysis would be uh, mm, text blob dot text blob tweet dot text it just means to fetch the text from the tweet and uh, store it in a variable called my analysis for the sentiment analysis now we're going to check if my analysis dot sentiment dot polarity uh equal to zero we're gonna add one to the neutral just copy this lf lf and say if it's greater than zero it would be positive and if it's smaller than zero it would be negative this would be positive and each time uh, i want to store the polarity of all the tweets into our into this variable uh, on line number 23 polarity so polarity equals to my analysis dot sentiment dot polarity sorry plus equal to because we are going to add this to check the result or the final result of uh, this polarity greater than zero or smaller than zero so we can tell if that it is positive or a negative so yeah if uh yeah if polarity greater than zero print positive before that i should say print well if polarity smaller than zero print negative well if polarity equal equal to zero print mm, neutral it won't work right now because uh, actually we need to format the positive negative and neutral to two decimal places so here we should say positive and uh, there's a very big mistake that we just did uh, we are actually accumulating the result here neutral plus one positive plus one and negative plus one but we actually need the uh, not the number we need the percentage here so we should just define a function here let's say define calculate percentage a b return 100 into float of a divided by float of b okay so uh the positive equals to calculate percentage positive in the by total number negative calculate percentage negative number of tweets neutral calculate percentage neutral number of tweets okay so and yes uh, we also need to format these positive equals to format positive into two decimal places just copy this negative and neutral negative neutral um, now let's see I'll search about Donald Trump ten tweets positive that's very unlikely but still we got positive mm, search for something else or rather I should also print the text also I'll uncomment this run it again say show me am I even mm, 20 tweets positive okay so yeah uh, we are halfway done and you can actually stop this video because uh, we actually uh, found the sentiments of the various tweets that we wanted to but uh, if you want to plot a pie chart let's uh, just keep watching i actually have written the code it here copy this paste it here so you can see uh, what i did it uh, i imported the myplot uh, library.pilplot as plot
plt plot or whatever you want to take it and define the three labels three labels because uh, i actually calculated only the three uh, sentiments positive negative and neutral and uh, like uh, cho chose green for the positive yellow for the neutral and red for the negative and uh, mm, yeah let's begin uh, we've got an error where search term it's not search term it's keyword and it is number of tweets mm, let's see if it's working yeah what do you want to search or i want to search about um, england loss that's a 30 so yeah it is positive review and our pie chart is ready let's see it how people are reacting on england loss by the analyzing the 30 tweets positive 76.67 neutral 6.67 negative 6.67 Okay. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe me for more tutorials are coming up soon. Um, thanks for watching.